a fast way to select uh, groups of amino acid residues in a pyramidal structure. Um, you could do this individually. If you go down to the bottom right under the S button, you can call up the sequence. And suppose you wanted to get all the valine residues and display them. You could go along here and pick them individually, such as this, and you could just go along the whole sequence and do that. That's very tedious. The faster way would be to use the uh, text line up here, right beside where it says pymol, and you just use the select command. So select is just S-E-L-E. -E. Then you indicate you want to select residues by their name, and the abbreviation for that is R-E-S-N. So that's short for select residue name. And then what you do is you just follow that by the three-letter abbreviation for the amino acid residue you want to select. So say it was valine, and that would be V-A-L. You just hit return, and then it now pops up below where you can see where those residues are. Now to highlight those, you just want to display those in a particular way that's easy to see. And so you just go under the S button on the right on the selection you've made. And easiest to show those as spheres. Those pop up as spheres now. And it's also good if you just color them in a particular way so you know that those are the particular uh, valine residues that you selected. So you go over to the color button then you can say, change those to orange. And now you've got all the valine residues on that structure are displayed as orange spheres. Now you can also select more than one residue at a time. So say we want to select all the uh, basic residues. Say we want to select the uh, lysine and the arginines. We can do that in a very similar fashion. You just use S-E-L-E, R-E-S-N as the name. And now you would do LYS for lysine, then you just use the plus sign, and then use arch for arginine. Now that will select both the arginine and the lysine residues. And then what you do is the same thing. Once you hit return, you go to uh, the S button, show, show spheres. Now you can see both of those residues. And again, you may want to color those separately, so you can distinguish those from the valine residues you selected before. And now you can have it like that. So this will be useful when you do that exercise to try to figure out uh, whether a protein is a thermophile or a cyclophile or a mesophile uh, protein, uh, because you want to pay attention to the particular type of amino acid residues uh, that tend to be uh, enriched for each of those types of proteins. Uh, so if you use this little shorthand, it's fairly easy to do this sort of thing.